yeah, there's actually a lot of women, Terrence and Scott, behind the DNC. And first, I want to talk about something that we kind of been hinting at throughout this entire week. We've been talking about how a majority of the events are not just here at the United Center and McCormick Place, but there are events happening within the neighborhoods, which means pumping dollars right into Chicago's 77 neighborhoods, which is definitely necessary and important. And in fact, three Chicago women are actually behind organizing the Democratic National Convention coming to Chicago in the first place. Now, this DNC is very different. There's a huge presence of women, and that increased once Kamala Harris became the Democratic nominee for president, leading the charge to bring the DNC to Chicago. Again, three women right here from the city. The Democratic National Convention Committee made sure neighborhoods saw some benefits of the 50,000 people that are here visiting, like the tours through Little Village, Roseland, and even North Lawndale. Sherman Dilla Thomas, the urban historian, was able to do it with dollars from the DNC and Illinois Senator Tammy Duckworth. Delegates and volunteers on the bus stopped at local businesses. Three Chicago women are responsible. Their names are Christy George. She's the executive director of the host committee, convention chair Minyan Moore, and Kiana Barrett, senior advisor to the host committee. Barrett is responsible for business equity and youth engagement. The range of vendors that you see here on site to navigate through security. That was one of the firms that bid on one of our contracts and was awarded. They are a locally based company. It is the same at the uh, McCormick Place. There is a vendor expo that is housing over 77 businesses all from the city of Chicago, providing and showcasing their services, as well as, again, driving as much traffic out into neighborhoods, recognizing that while our delegates may be busy during the day, and their meetings, many of them have traveled here with their families, and so they too want to immerse themselves in the city. Now, all of this is very historic to have these three black women from Chicago in these roles. And coming up in the five o'clock hour, we're going to talk a little bit more about how they're making history. Scott and Terrence, I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Tia, thank you.